it might look like my keyboard is jammed, but I'm actually taking a test to see the type of job I'd be best suited to. So it's measuring how quick I am to react, and it's actually very difficult. More and more companies are using online video games to test job applicants' reaction times, how attentive they are to detail, and how emotional or impulsive they might be. Users can go on and play a bunch of short, fun games to find out what their strengths and weaknesses are and then have those mapped onto different careers. In this test, I have to judge a person's emotional state from a series of photographs, while this test measures whether I'm more likely to gamble if the financial reward is higher. Job matching sites like Pymetrics and Knack are both front runners in the race to make video game testing the norm among recruiters. But can a video game know you better than you know yourself? This test labeled me as good at memorizing and generous among friends, but it also said I was emotional and impulsive. The other thing is that you were really good at putting in effort and getting reward out of it. So I'm a hard worker. You are a hard worker. The main benefit to this is when somebody's going through thousands of resumes, this type of testing can be way more informative than looking at somebody's GPA. But one word of caution. Experts say that some of these tests can lead to discrimination. Reaction times might be faster for younger people than for older folks. And then there's the question of social background. People who are from socio-cultural groups where they've been exposed to games, technology, puzzles, problem solving, will do better than people who are from socio-cultural backgrounds where that was not part of their experience when they were growing up. And that's unfair and wrong. But HR companies like Mercer are so intrigued about the benefits of online game testing that they're asking their best salesperson to take the test so they can hire people who are as similar as possible. Basically what these tests do is they run those people through the games and come up with a profile and then you run everyone else through the profile and they're trying to figure out what is statistically different between the people who are best practice and the rest of the group. But should a company really want to hire employees that all share the same traits? Diversity is clearly important. It's just that if you're exhibiting very strong sales capabilities, we want to make sure that we're playing to your strengths. Zane Asher, CNN, New York.